All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I edited this video here on my Insta360 Studio app on my phone. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of it. I'm gonna show you how to add keyframes and how to slow your footage down. Before we get started, if you are looking for the best settings for your action cameras, remember to grab my video settings cheat sheet below. It's all free. It's a one page cheat sheet with all my favorite settings. You're gonna need your Insta360 X5 for this or 360 camera, that's what I shot this video on. I shot this video at 4K, 120 frames a second because I wanted to slow the video down as, you, as you've just seen. So first thing we're gonna do, turn the X5 on and we connect it to our phone and then we can get editing on the, the app. Head over to your app, probably make sure it's updated. Let's connect the app up, join. Okay, we're connected. Now I'll go over to album. Let's open up our video we want to edit. So I'm gonna select this here. Okay, so we've opened up our clip and the first thing we need to do is trim the clip because we're not gonna use the whole thing. So I'm gonna click this diamond here with a plus sign next to it on the left hand side. Click new draft because this is a video I've already edited before. And before I do anything, I'm gonna use a timeline at the bottom and I'm gonna just position where I want to start this video. And then I'm gonna click on the clip and I'm gonna drag start to where I want. And then I'm gonna do the same for the end. I'm gonna go swipe through and just decide where I want. So I'm gonna just say where he surfaces at the war is where I wanna do it. And what we can do is just go to the end of the clip and then we're gonna get rid of that. And this is our workable clip. It's 11 seconds long so far. So now we're gonna go right to the start to our first frame and I'm going to use my fingers on the screen to move the camera around and I'm going to position Ryan in the center of the frame all the time. So you can use your fingers and pinch to zoom in and out depending on what you want. Um, but there's a crosshair in the middle and I'm going to try and keep Ryan, my friend, at the center of all of, all of these, this video. And then once I'm happy with the first shot, I'm going to click this diamond with a plus sign just above the timeline here and that's going to add a keyframe. And I'm going to slowly swipe through the timeline. And you'll notice that Ryan will go out of shot. So I need to now just move this around and again reposition him at center stage. He's just about to do his backflip now. So I'm just going to go through and keyframe again. Okay, so I'm gonna move it to the center of the screen. Same again. Another big splash. And then try and pick him up. There he is. Okay, so now we have all our keyframes added to our video. Now if I play this in real time, I'll show what it looks like. Pretty cool. So now what I want to do is I want to add a bit of slow motion to this. So when he does the backflip, I'm going to really slow that down. So you want to first now go and navigate on your timeline to the point at which the backflip starts or where you want the slow motion to start. So as Ryan is about to leap into his backflip and explode out right here, I'm going to click my clip. And in the bottom, we've got loads of tools to play with. And I'm going to go with the one that says speed. And then I'm going to click segment. And then I'm going to click plus. And then I'm going to drag the timeline to where I want the speed to end, which I'm going to do probably just go as he enters the water. And then click tick. And then we get to decide how fast or slow we want our segment to be. I'm just going to slow it down by one half, so 0 0.5. And then click tick. And now if we play this now, we should see normal speed into slow-mo. Boom. Lovely, but smooth backflip. Now when we're exporting, once you're happy with your clip, you're ready to export, click the top right yellow 
export button. And then you can either export to phone with the saved settings, but I prefer to click on the settings and uh, choose my own video quality. I click that button and then I bump the resolution up to 4K. Frame rate I put at 120 because that's what I shot the video at. And then bit rate, depending on where you're gonna share this, you're gonna share it on social media, but anything between 25 and 50 is fine. Anything above that is gonna increase the size of the file uh, and not necessarily increase the actual quality of the video when you upload to social media, so just remember that. So we're gonna go somewhere in the middle here, click export to phone. That's gonna export. And once that's saved, that's literally all we need to do. So hopefully that little tutorial was useful. Make sure you check out all the videos on my channel for any editing tips and tricks. And also make sure you go and grab my video settings cheat sheet, which is here. It's in the link description below. All the best settings for the X5 camera and any other action camera that is currently available. See you in the next one, guys.